Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to part three of my Game Boy Zero build series. In this video, I'm gonna be going over how to wire up and program the Teensy LC to the PCB board, modifying this DS Lite cartridge slot to fit in the Game Boy casing, as well as accept the old Game Boy cartridges. And lastly, we're gonna be going over how to uh, install one of these SD card cartridge boards into an original Game Boy cartridge. Now I picked this up from Pre-Runner Seth on the pseudo mod forms, so I'll definitely leave a link for that down below. The first thing we're gonna do is program the Teensy. So what we're gonna wanna do is head over to arduino.cc, go to software, and then download the Arduino IDE for your operating system. Click just download. And then you're gonna wanna head over to pjrc.com and download the Teensy Duino version 1.35. And then just select your operating system here. Once you have those two downloaded, you're gonna to wanna to open Arduino. And you should be greeted with the screen. Once you have this screen, you can then close out of it and then install the Teensy Duino. Now, once it's finished downloading, we can exit out of that. And then we're gonna to wanna to head over to the pseudomod blog post from Wormy of his install, and he has an Arduino project that he wrote that we're gonna wanna download. Now once you have that downloaded, it should be in your downloads folder. So go ahead and open that up. Now once you have that open, you can now go ahead, plug in your Teensy, and then go up to Tools. Now once you're in Tools, go down to Board, and select Teensy LC and then go back up to tools, select USB type, and then go to keyboard plus mouse plus joystick. Now once you have both of those selected and your Teensy is plugged in, click the plus button, and then press the button on your Teensy. So we're all done with the setup process with the Teensy. Now time to wire it up and test it out. But when you go to wire up your Teensy, you're gonna wire it up ground, up, down, left, right, A, B, X, Y, start, select, and then right, left, once we get there. But for now, we're just gonna leave 10 and 11 blank. But once you have your Teensy wired up to your PCB, you can now go ahead, plug it in with the USB, and test it out. I'm gonna be testing it out on my Raspberry Pi. And there you go, now you can see that it's actually fully functioning. I'll go ahead and open up a game just to show you that it is working. Now this is actually Halo 2600 for the Atari 2600. So I'll go ahead and actually leave a link for this ROM uh, in the description below. Now to modify this cartridge slot from a DS Lite, it's actually really easy. There's only two things that we really need to do. We need to cut off the ends, so right at the end there on both sides. And then we also have to cut, if you can see in here, that little tab that sticks out. We have to cut that out on both sides as well. There you go, once you got those little pieces cut off, it is all good to go. You can then grab a cartridge and go ahead and give it a test fit and make sure it actually fits in there. Once you're done with that, we'll move on to modifying the case. Now moving on to installing the SD cartridge board into a cartridge. First thing you need to do is remove this security screw in the back here. Now to do that, I use a bit that looks like this. I actually got it from Harbor Freight. Once you have the screw out of the back, you just need to flip it over, push this faceplate down, and then lift it up and take it off. And there's the game, we can take it off and set that to the side. Now we're gonna have to do one modification to this case to actually let it fit with this memory card in there. And that is we need to grind this little section off right here. Once you have it grinded down far enough, 
You can see it clears the SD card now and you can slide it up. Now the last thing you gotta do is just stick the screw in and you're all finished. There you have it. The cartridge is all finished up with the SD card inside of it. it also fits inside of our DS Lite cartridge slot. And our PCB and TNC are all wired up and fully functioning. So if you like this video and it helped you out, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Now in the next video, we're going to be installing the screen into the Game Boy Zero, as well as installing the cartridge slot and these button guards. So be sure to subscribe to be notified when that video comes out. And until then, I'll see you in the next video.